now by Ben Harris, Executive Director of the Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project. And Ben, first and foremost, thanks for having us out here at your release today. Of course, thank you for being here. This it's great is, to have you guys. Oh, no, thank you. This is pretty cool. Can you tell us a little bit about your nonprofit and the importance of what, what went on here today? Sure. So Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project is dedicated to the restoration of native salmonid populations in the Central California and particularly the Monterey Bay area. So what you did today was helped out with our coho supplementation program, which is trying to restore a nearly extinct population of coho salmon here in the in Scott Creek right here. Uh, they tag about 75% of the fish with uh, uh, passive integrated transponder tags and what those are are basically the same things that you would ship your dog with to scan to identify and that gives us a, a one-to-one -one identification of individual fish and uh, fish are also tagged with coated wire tags in their nose uh, which is basically just a, a little piece of metal that goes directly into the nose of the fish and is similar if you can scan and tell exactly which fish you're looking at just by running a little wand over it. So what we're doing here today is we're supporting a NOAA uh, genetic diversity program where they are hatching salmon, they're rearing salmon at the, uh, the hatchery. Then the NOAA scientists and the Monterey Bay Salmon and Trout Project scientists will be recording the return rates of those particular salmon. What we are doing is trying to cultivate a community-based sustainable fishery for our local steelhead. The coho program is really a genetics conservation thing. It's, uh, they are listed endangered, uh, both federally and, and, and state. And so we're just trying to conserve the species. Have you been able to make an impact? We have, and uh, it's, it's showing up in, in a little bit increased in returns, and we have higher survival rates at the hatchery than fish do in the wild, obviously. So we're having a really positive impact with the help of some great volunteer organizations to really um, connect people to the watershed and restore a species that was functionally headed towards extinction. We do uh, community service type work. Uh, today we were releasing fish. Uh, is something that we need volunteers for. Our organization is really volunteer based in many ways. The types of volunteer activities vary through time. A good way to connect with that is to connect with our website at mbstp.org. We're revamping an education program where we'll be doing habitat restoration work along creek banks with the students at the same time doing community outreach for people that want to come and help us do that work also running workshops on water conservation, the best ways to manage your property, your garden, your lawns, so ways to do all of that stuff and enjoy it without using too much water. And so we want to help people learn how to do that and have that penetrate into the community.